Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to reproduce at least the top portion of this Porsche USA website. So my students in CIS 195, they have an assignment where they have to mimic several different navigation menus on some websites. And we're still early enough in the term, we're going simple, and one of the students is working on this Porsche site. Now, of course, when I hover over each menu item, we get certainly the large view of the car with some submenus so we can go down to the various models, but that's not a skill right now for this particular class. However, I do like the top portion of this menu, and this is something we can easily work on. And it might take a couple of videos, but I'm confident we can get it done. So if I kind of see, all right, well, there's definitely a header on this page that contains the nav menu, got a logo off to the left. We can just kind of put that off to the side, literally and figuratively. Um, they've got this find a dealer and stuff, log in over there on the right. But if I just look at the main menu, we see that we have six menu items. Now, when I hover over these, I don't get the little hyperlink hand. So those are probably technically not anchor tags, but we'll make them as anchor tags. They got a cute little picture of the models of the car there. I like that. And then of course we see on hover, the uh, the model of the car name, the name of the car changes from black to red and we get that thick border, that red border kind of shows up. Yeah, let's make that our focus. I don't even have my text editor open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pause my screen and get a blank page started up. Okay, so I've got a blank page and um, it looks like I've got a lot of stuff going on in the styles, but you'll notice I've commented out most of my external style sheets. Are, and I've started to use some internal styles, and I do have a reset rule in there. So let's go ahead and get to work. Now, in the body of the page, I will go ahead and create a header section. That's going to be that white background on there. And inside of that, I'm going to create a nav. So I'm going to use a set of nav tags. Now, I'm kind of tempted to do this as an unordered list because I think ultimately if we were going to build this full navigation menu even with the drop down, I think an unordered list with list items is the way to go. But we're going to focus just on the top part of this menu here. Just those six items right up there at the top. And doing the full menu would be work for the Web Development 2 course. So I think what I want to have on here is just some hyperlinks. And I'll just do dumb, dummy hyperlinks. And I'll go ahead and do one of the cars right now. So we've got the 718 and the 911. So 718, just like that. Yeah, so that's what's going to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and pause my recorder again. And I'm going to put in the hyperlinks for the other vehicles. Okay, so there's my navigation menu so far. It looks pretty darn simple, doesn't it? Anchor href equals. Now there's something else I need to consider with this HTML. Each of these menu items clearly has a different picture of the car model on there. A couple ways we could do that, but I think there's going to be one better way. So you could be thinking, well, all right, we'll definitely have to have images of the cars. And uh, yeah, I might try to grab some of those images, or we could use any picture uh, for demo purposes. That would be fine. Um, but it might be nice to use these as background images, which means I would have a different background image for each menu item. Now there's a couple ways we could do that. With our CSS, we could use nth child and control the first, the second, the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth hyperlinks. That's one way to go. Or we could also give each of these a class. So for instance, I might have class equals P718 or something like that. So you notice I'm putting the letter P in there, P for Porsche, and I'm only doing that mostly out of habit. With IDs, you don't want to start off an ID name with a, with a number. You want to start with a text or underscore or something like that. And honestly, I can't remember if it's invalid to start a class with a number. So I'm just kind of concerned about that. So that could be the way to go, is to basically give each of these a class. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so now each of my hyperlinks within this nav menu has a class. All right, feeling pretty good about it. I'm going to do this as well. No, no, I think that's fine. Well, class equals main nav. I'm going to put a class in there too. We're not going to be creating multiple navigation menus for this demo, but it is honestly, there is another nav menu up here for shop and more. You could consider that part of the main one, but I'm just doing the six cars. And you could even consider these two hyperlinks over in the far right to be um, 
and navigation menu too. So I'm gonna focus just on the six items here. So I'm gonna give them their own class, so that way in anticipation of if we ever create those other ones. Let's move up to the styles and make sure we can see what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and give my body a background color of tan just so I can see it. And I'll go ahead and set the font family to Verdana, just to have a different font. All right, I'm satisfied with that. Now I do want to style the header of this page. And my header, it's going to have a background color that's white. And is it fixed? If I scroll up and down, nope, it's not position fixed because we can see the header moves, the navigation menu moves. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And for the short term, it's okay here. I'll go ahead and put a min height of 120 pixels. And so now when I go to my page, you can see you've got that white header up there. And since I'm just using A, hyperlinks, we have those right in there. So let me go ahead and jump over and start to style a few of these. Nav A dot main nav. Remember, I've got class equals main nav is that navigation menu and the anchors inside of them. And I think what I'll do here is display inline block. I think they're all pretty much the same size. So I'm going to go ahead and set their width to be, uh, let's start off with something like 80 pixels. And I'm going to do their height to be about 90 pixels. They seemed to me taller than they were in width. So I'm just kind of basing my that decision off of that. And for the short term, so that I can see them, I'm going to put a thin little border on them. Border two pixels, solid. I'll just do gray just so we can kind of see them. And there we go. So now I'm starting to structure how those, those menu items are starting to look. I'm pretty satisfied with this. I think what I'll do is I'm going to pick this up in another video. And what I want to target in that next video is I want to be able to get that text sized and positioned maybe in the lower mid portion of that button area. And it looks like I'm also going to need to put some little car pictures in there too. So I might hunt around on the web and just grab a couple of car pictures I can use for demo purposes. So I'll see you in the next video.